Welcome to Phantom X Design and in this video I'm making a dust filter box for my dust collection system. The dust collection system is integrated directly into the workbench. I actually call the workbench the Cyclone Workbench. Um, it's pretty cool. Everything's integrated inside of it. The filter box is sitting directly in between the inline blower fan and the discharge hose for the Cyclone. So the air filters right through the box before it goes to the inline fan to protect it and then discharged out with cleaner air. So come on along and check out the project. The dimensions of the filter box is 24 inches tall, it's 12 inches wide, and it's 18 inches deep. Now these measurements have to be absolutely precise because since the filter box is part of the all-in-one workbench where the dust collection system is built into the workbench, the measurements have to be right on par and are slightly irregular. There's a reason behind it. Now as far as the frame of the box, I made it out of three-quarter by three-quarter square poplar wood. It's exactly what I use for my um, dust collection bin on the cyclone aspect of it. And I drilled some holes and I had to make sure that the holes wouldn't go all the way through the three quarter inch pop bar so I put a little marker on the drill bit. Then I went ahead and uh, used some one inch screws and secured all the wood pieces together. I left one end of the filter box open because that's where the transparent door is going to be located. And I still need to cut two holes in the box itself and so what I did is I slid it in place and lined it up with the inline blower and need to mark the hole that's going to be a six inch hole right there and the top of the box i need to put a four inch hole i marked where the six inch takeoff is going to be located on the inside and outside of the takeoff that way i know when i cut the line where that flange is going to ride i don't want to cross that line and cut into where the flange is going to be mounted so i want to be safe in that aspect I took a half inch Forstner bit and I cut a hole in, in the circle. That way I have a, a starting point where I can insert my jigsaw blade to get going. And those Forstner bits cut like butter so it goes through really, really fast. After I cut a couple holes with my Forstner bit, I went ahead and started cutting the hole out with the jigsaw. The six inch starting collar has a peel and stick insulated um, foam flange on it so it sticks really well and then you just zip a couple screws in there to hold it down. After I zip screwed the six inch starting collar onto the filter box, I went ahead and slid it back in the slot there and made sure everything lined up with the inline blower. I built the frame that the inline blower is resting on so that's adjustable. So I knew that, you know, would be some adjustment in there. So I made it so it can slide back and forth the inline blower on the little support crate. Next, it was time to cut the four inch hole in the top of the filter box for the cyclone discharge line. After I cut the four inch hole in the top of the filter box, I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit with the file and then inserted the um, four inch starting collar and secured it in place with some zip screws. These are sheet metal zip screws.
Next, I started installing the filter track that the filter will rest on and slide in and out, a nice little track. I made it out of three quarter inch by three quarter inch poplar. I glued the bottom part of the pieces and then took my cordless uh, DeWalt 18 gauge brad nailer and, and tacked it in place. After I installed the guide track for the filter, this is the last piece on the track. It just sits over the top of the edge of the filter when it's in place on the track and it holds the filter in place. So I went ahead and glued this piece up and intact it in place as well with my brad nailer. So I went ahead and put the filter in its track. And you notice I put a, I had to cut a filter and uh, tape the edge on it because it's an 18 by 24 filter and my local box stores do not have that size right now. I'd have to order it. So I just went ahead and cut the filter temporarily, slid it on a track, and then put the track piece in place to hold the filter in its position. I went ahead and assembled the window door frame. I'm gonna put a piece of clear polycarbon on there so you can see right into the filter box to see what's going on. I went ahead and cut a piece of polycarbonate on the bandsaw and just uh, kind of trimming up the edge here. After I cut the piece of polycarbonate on the bandsaw, I went ahead and laid the piece of polycarbonate on the window door frame and marked all along the edges. And this is where I'm gonna route the edge down so that this piece of polycarbonate sits nice and flush on the door frame. After I routed the edge of the window door frame, I went ahead and laid the piece of polycarbonate in the track there and see uh, how well it fits. Um, it was actually very difficult to route this out because one, I don't have a router table and two, I don't have a workbench to put the router table on because I'm actually making it right now. So it was a little bit rough around the edges, but that's okay. Um, so I went ahead and caulked the edges of the door frame and then laid the piece of polycarbonate back in the door frame and press it down uh, to make sure it's secured nicely. Next, it's time to attach the hinges to the door frame and mount the hinges to the filter box. After I attached the hinges to the filter box, I went ahead and tested the door to make sure it opened and closed okay. Next, I added some weather stripping to the door to make sure we don't have any air leaks. Next, I drilled a couple holes with the Forstner bit so I can put some hex threaded studs in there for some twist knobs.
Now it's time to reassemble everything to make sure everything fits nicely. So I inserted the filter back in its track and then slid the track clip in its place to hold the filter. Now for my favorite part of the whole job, and that's peeling off the protective film on the polycarbonate so it reveals a nice clear window for our dust collection filter box. The filter box for the dust collection system has now been completed.